in each of the following diagram calculate the parameter of the shaded region so here a this one so parameter is equal to so you see here this one is ac so ac plus this one is rcd and then this one is plus db or bd is also okay and plus r so this one is r a b so we see here r a b so here a c is equal to 5 plus so r c d we know that the formula of r r is equal to r theta where r is radius and theta is degree in radian so here c d so we see here the radius radius is taken from the center up to the line so this one od is equal to this one is 4 and this one is 5 which is equal to 9 so here is 9 and then degree must be in radian but then we have in radius so we know that radian radian to degree so we see here radian to degree we have to multiply 180 over pi and then degree to radian we have to multiply so 180 would be below pi over 180 so in this case we have 110 which is degree so degree to radian we have to multiply pi over 180 so here so here 110 times pi is 3.142 divided by 180 so here we get so it is not mentioned 3.142 so you can directly use pi from the calculator so here so 110 so 110 times so this one is shift pi divided by 180 so here we get in degree 1.9198 or 1.92 so here we get 1.92 radian so here we get this one is 1.92 radian so arc cd the radian is 1.92 plus so db so here db is 5 plus r a b so here r a b so here r a b so from o to r a b is 4 cm so r is 4 and then theta is equal which is 1.92 so we get so 5 plus 9 times 1.92 plus 5 plus 4 times 1.92 which is equal to so 34.96 so here we get 34.96 cm. So here B. So B the perimeter is equal to. So here AC plus. So this one is AC plus RCD. So RCD plus. Here is DB. And then plus. Here is RBA or RAB lah. So we see here. To use formula of R, we need to have radius and theta. So in this case, we don't have theta yet. But then we have S. You see here, you have S. And then you have the radius. So you can definitely find theta. So 3cm is RCD. You see here. So SCD is equal to R radius theta. So RCD is equal to 3. So radius is from the center up to the CD so 3 plus 1 is 4 and then theta so theta is equal to 3 over 4 which is 0 0.75 radian because we know that this formula is in radian so we know this one is 0 0.75 radian so now we have the radian and we have the R and we can find the perimeter so AC here is so we see this one is 3 cm and BD is 1 cm. So AC is 1 cm. So this is 1 cm plus. So CD here, R CD is given 3 cm plus DB. So we see here DB is 1 cm. And then RBA. So here RBA. R is equal to R theta. So radius is 3. And then theta in radian is 0 0.75 or 3 over 
4. So here we will get. So 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5. So 5 plus this one is 9 over 4. So 9 over 4. So we get 29 over 4 or 7.25. So 7.25 cm. So, okay. so C. So we see here perimeter. Perimeter is equal to. So we see here. Uh, B A so S B A plus B C plus this one is C A so you see here to find S so S is equal to R theta you need to have radius and degree so in this case you have radius which is 10 but then you don't have the degree what is the theta so you see here you know that 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. And we know when we have triangle and this one is right angle triangle, you know that angle this theta plus this uh, AOC plus ACB, this two is equal to 90 degree. So 90 degree is also equal to 2 pi divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.5 pi radian. So we know that this angle plus this angle is 0 0.5 pi radian. So we see here theta is equal to 0 0.5 pi minus 0 0.5 radian. So we get 0 0.5 pi. So you see on top of the right minus 0 0.5 so we get 1.071 radian. So here we get theta is equal to 1.071 radian. So here SBA is equal, is equal to R theta. So radius is equal to 10. And then degree is equal to 1.071. So here we get 10.71 cm. So this one is done. Now for BC. So BC is here. So you see here this one is triangle. And this one is 0 0.5 radian. And this one is 10. So you see you can use uh, Figo. You can use Figo. So Cha. But then to use Rigo, the angle must be in degree. So radian to degree is equal to 0 0.5 times 180 divided by pi. We get so 0 0.5 times 180 divided by pi. So we get 28.64. Okay. Or you just click the degree button, then you get 28, 39. So you see here, 52 is larger than 30. So 28 degree, 39 minute. 28 degree, 39 minute. So here we get 28 degree, 39 minute. Okay, now, now you wanted to find BC. So BC is on the hypotenuse here. So this is opposite. So we can use sine. So, right. So, sine 28, 39 is equal to opposite is 10 divided by hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse is equal to 10 divided by sine sin 28, 39 which is equal to so you see on top of the right so 10 divided by this is sine so 28 39 minute 39 you close back and then you get so 20 so you see so 20.856 or 20.857 so 20.8 5, 7. So you see here, O to C is 20.857. So you know OB is equal to 
10 because this is the radius 10. So BC is equal to 20.857 minus 10. So here we get 10.857. So BC is 10.857. So AC, AC square is equal to OC square minus OE square. So AC is equal to third. So OC is 20.857 square minus OA. So OA is 10 square. So here we get 18.303 cm. So we have SBA, we have BC and we have CA. So perimeter is equal to so 10.71 plus 10.857 plus 18.303 we get 39.87 cm.